guys welcome to hacker world um it's been a while since i posted a video last uh in my last video i promised i was gonna uh, be doing some um five five timer based circuit so you just ignore this guy this is a bridge rectifier for another purpose but i'm just taking it out so here i have a simple five five timer stable multi vibrator um it's a um, very simple design i'm gonna show you how it's done so i have the five five timer here and um pin four and pin eight i join them together so as you know pin eight is power supply and pin four is the the reset pin but when you pull it up it's active low when you pull it up then um it's gonna stay on if you if you leave it it could be floating but um, to reset this device you have to ground pin 4 momentarily anyway so for this purpose I'm just gonna pull it up and then I have um, pin 3 over there for the output and um, so to generate the frequency um, I'm gonna join pin 6 and pin 2 here 2 and 6 and then join it with a resistor and then all the way back to pin 3 and then I got capacitor here to ground as you know pin 1 is ground also pin 5 is control voltage I'm gonna leave it floating because I'm gonna connect something there so there is pin one to ground and this your output so I put a capacitor in to my load. In this case just a simple loudspeaker, the speaker you have over there. Yeah and that's it. So what you normally connect here is a capacitor to ground maybe 0 0.1 microfarad or something like that. But for this um, circuit, this project here, I'm going to connect uh, an infrared an infrared um, diode here. And I'll show you why I'm connecting this. So this is it. I have four batteries here in this battery rack. So that's um, six volts. And that's our ground. And that is it pretty much. So you have your a stable multi vibrator here. It goes like an alarm. I have 10 microfarad here. I used also 100 microfarad. I just experiment with whatever I have. Um, you can use any 555 timer. You'll be good. Over here, I played around with some resistors. So you, right here, I'm using 100 ohm. Uh, 100 ohms resistor. So. And um, over there, the capacitor I'm using there is a uh, 47 microfarad. Mm. The voltage doesn't matter. Just make sure that the voltage um, is more than 6 volts. So in this case, I have 25 volts. Of, uh, sorry, I have 50 volts over there. So it doesn't really matter. Just um, make sure you can handle 6 volts. And then you're good. Here, I use 25 volts. And 25 volts, it doesn't really matter. Anything you use should be good and so let's see let's play around with this and see how it works so that's the infrared receiver so i just put it there so i can play around with it put my remote control so when i press the remote button I know someone might be wondering uh, what's the point um, what's the point of using the, the infrared uh, receiver there like it doesn't make so much sense you can actually just run the stable multivariate that way and so what's the point having this and the reason I'm putting it here is that someone could learn from it and make a remote, con a remote control a receiver 
I'm going to give you an idea of how to make that. So you can build this into um, kind of um, uh, a preamplifier. You can connect the preamplifier to this and then feed that signal to, to control voltage. This pin 5 or 555 timer is the voltage control or VC or control voltage, wherever. Um, doesn't really matter. Voltage control or control voltage, you can call it whatever you want. So, but when you change the signal here, you change the behavior of the waveform that comes out here. Now, this configuration I have here will give you, I think, about one one point. Um, is it one point one four um, over RC? Will give you the frequency. So you can actually calculate your own frequency. Just the value of this and value of that will give you the frequency of uh, of oscillation of this. And if you want to use this as a light um, monitor or whatever, uh, you can change this this um, infrared receiver to um, something like light dependent resistor and so on and so forth. So you can vary the behavior of the of the sound that comes here. This is supposed to be a square wave, but when you play around with this, you can change the the duty cycle and you can uh, mod modulate the signal so that's pretty much what we have here and one more thing we did was play around with the the capacitors we put at the output so the, remember pin 3 is output so I changed the value of the capacitor the sound changes yep that is it so you play around with this and let me know um, so many of you always post questions and uh, try to do what we did and then we can give you answers. For this, you can put a, a transistor here, uh, maybe, maybe simple transistor amplifier will do. And um, probably pull this up. If you don't have any idea, just use 4K74 kilo ohms, 4.7 kilo ohms. And, um, here you can put your the, the diode, the infrared uh, diode, and then um, you can pull this guy up also. Use say check my other preamplifier. You can see just get an idea from there, and then you connect this to this point. Play around with this. I've not tried this, but I think it, it should work. Play around with this. Connect this here. So. Um, I'm sorry, sorry, my my mistake. This guy goes to ground. This guy goes to ground, and you put you put this guy. Um, don't put this resistor here. See, I've not done this, but I I have confidence it's gonna work. Um, put your put the diet here. Put put it the other way around. Yeah, this is what I want you to do. So, put your infrared diode over there, and um, the reason I chose infrared is so that uh, every day daylight will not disturb you. Um, choose any value you like and play around with it. You can use potentiometer, use 10k here, 10k pot, vary it and tell me how it works. Alright, I'll be waiting for your feedback. I'm going to redraw this right now here. So for the for the infrared amplifier, I want you to have a simple uh, NPN transistor. You can use 2N3904. Put have your resistor here. Um, this resistor should be um, in this case 4K7. This is your output. This guy goes to your voltage control of your 5555 timer. Here have 10k port. 10k port. This guy goes to the same six volts, and this is the base. In here, put your infrared receiver. Um, IR, and these two go to ground. All right. Okay. Um. Give us a video comment and um, try.
try to experiment with this and tell us 